All right, we made it out here. I got a huge long field. This is the H501 SS. I just did the standard 3DBI dipole. And I got the Meagle or M Eagle antenna on here. The transmitter's on. I just got to plug in the battery, do my compass calibrations. And uh, I'm going to check the range on this baby. All right, did my compass cals. Waiting for satellites. I got 10 on the quad, 9 on the controller. Of course, it's sunny out. I did get a sunscreen with the H501SS. It's over there on that box. I take it up, fly it out far. Right, if you could see the quad out there. It's saying right where it is, good compass scale, good FPV on the screen. I do got a very strange crosswind. It's it's coming, it's basically going that way. I'm going to fly out that way. So I'm just going to raise it up a bit, get away from these power lines like I need to do. And uh, we're going to go out far. We're going to see how far this thing goes with the normal 3 dBi uh, extended range kit. Alright, so far we are at 50 meters high, 121 meters out, and this FPV is absolutely crystal clear. So we're going to full pitch forward. Alright, full pitch forward. Very nice FPV. 175 meters. 200 meters. Two hundred and eighty four, three hundred meters, three hundred and seventy, three eighty. It's going at four five meters per second, but it is going into the wind. So it's been recording for. 3 minutes and 50 seconds. We're at 450 meters. Still very nice FPV. Approaching, yep, yeah, 500 meters. We're going at 5 meters per second. Very nice FPV still. Six hundred, oh, five hundred and seventy-five meters. Six hundred meters. Really nice FPV, crystal clear. Let me adjust the antenna a little bit. There we go. Six hundred and seven hundred meters. Seven hundred and well, let's just call that eight hundred meters. Fifty meters high, eight hundred twenty-five meters. Still crystal clear FPV. I cannot believe this antenna. This antenna is great. Eight hundred and seventy-five, eight eighty-eight, eight ninety. 930 and we are approaching a thousand meters 986 1000 meters 110 1028 133 uh, 1058 meters 1,085, 1,100, and it's just going at almost 5.5.2 meters per second. And we still got crystal clear FPV. We're at 1,100, 1,200 meters about, 
and move my antenna. There we go. 1200 meters, 1210, 1226. Let me stop it for a sec. Get the signal back. There we go. All right, we're still full pitching forward again. We got 1300 meters, 1320. I think you can see those counting up there. 1350. Thirteen ninety fourteen hundred meters. Still at five meters per second. Seven point two volts. It's starting to get a little bit snowy. Not bad. We're at fifteen hundred meters. Well, almost. There we go. Fifteen hundred meters. Holy. Balls, this thing really goes. 1600 meters. Wow, that's two kilometers. Still at five meters per second. One thousand. Look at this FPV, it is just amazing, this antenna rocks. Now we gotta let the telemetry keep up, keep up because we're probably at 1800 meters right now. Oh yeah, we are really out there man. This is great. This FPV is rock solid too. I'm not losing color, nothing. I'm at 7.1 volts. I'm gonna see if I can hit 2,000 meters and then hit return to home. Well, we're still at 7.2 volts, so. And FPV is still good. It's going to fight the wind on the way back, so I'm going to stop it. We're at 2,000 and 15 meters out, 50 meters high, and look at the FPV. <laughs> Turn to home time. It's turning around. And here it comes, back towards me. actually going 5.2 meters per second 4.3 meters per second four point nine meters per second still at one thousand nine hundred and some meters out thirteen when it gets that far you actually don't really I mean the telemetry needs when the telemetry needs to keep up with the Cause that's all done through the 2.4 antenna over there the dipole antenna that's done through the 2.4 gigahertz antenna it sends out the signal but it also receives the telemetry information so it's coming back at 4.8 meters per second and we are still at 1700 and some meters out i bet you i could have pushed this thing way further than that but this was the first flight after the modifications. Just a standard 3 dBi dipole and the Meagle or M Eagle antenna. Crystal clear FPV. I hope you can see that. The sun's a little bit goofy. It's very nice FPV. Very good. That thing is kind of getting a little crazy up there. Just come on home, baby. She's still coming home. Sorry about I got it.
All right, we're at 1,000. See how that twitches a little bit on return to home? I'm not touching nothing. I'm just kind of watching this thing return to home. I'm trying to get the glare out of the screen from the sun. We're at 7 volts and we're still 1,300 meters out. It's coming home at 4.7 meters per second. 4.8. It's been recording for 11 minutes and, well, 12 minutes. We still, I mean, FPV never even really broke up at all. That's quite a journey. You know, over 2,000 meters. See the telemetry cut out right there? Over 2,000 meters away. And this FPV is just absolutely rock solid, man. I can't say much more about this antenna. It just is really nice. Look at this FPV. So, it's maintaining its altitude okay. It's getting closer, so. It, as it gets closer, it kind of got to angle the controller up a little bit. I don't know why it's doing that twitching thing, but as it's returning home every now and then, it just kind of bobs, it pitches up and down. We, I'm holding this camera. Sorry about the shakiness. So that was pretty cool, a 3 dBi dipole, no windsurfer, no watt booster, nothing. I got out to 2,000 meters with just standard extended range kits. That is very, very cool, I like that. The H501 SS, I guess, you know. I mean, look at the FPV, it's, it's just absolutely perfect. And that thing is... He's coming home, 810 meters. I could have went a lot farther than that, but this was 800, 769 meters, 4.8 meters per sec, 4.9. I probably could have flew this thing out to 3,000, 4,000 meters. I don't know, but I'm not trying to push it the first flight after I just did the modifications, you know. The reason we got glare on the screen is it's kind of facing the sun on the way back. So we're at six, it's still coming home, 4.8 second, 4.8 meters per second. But see that twitch? I don't, I'm not sure why that does that. At least it comes home forward though, and not backwards like the H501S. I do have that quad too. I also have the H109S here with me, but I'm kind of losing sunlight. So she's still coming home. Yeah. That's really cool. Just this standard antenna modification. We just went 2,000, I think 15 meters and 50 meters high. So she's coming home, coming home, coming home. And the battery is at 7 volts, 6.9, we're at 363 meters out still. I can't say much more about this antenna, it is so nice. It's made by Meagle or M Eagle. But, I hope you guys, uh, man, I got a hell of a lot more range with the H501SS than I did with the H501S. So I'm going to let her come home. She's almost back, 230 meters. And uh, I'm going to bring her back. And maybe I'll put a bigger dipole or a bigger, uh, uh, higher DBI antenna on here. And maybe do a dual battery modification where you can tape another battery to the bottom. But she's at 125, 100, oh, you can see my truck down there, that white truck on the street. That's it. So she's coming home, so that was cool. H501 SS, 3 dBi dipole, 14 dBi panel antenna, 2,015 meters range, 50 some meters high, and I got to bring her home.